Good morning, this is Calamity Calling and today we're going to play more Assemble with Care because it's, a, it's just such a nice game. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my Ooh, way to the room number I'd good, given. Um, I knocked. That was correct sound. You hear about the camera? It's about time. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see You're anything You're just a lovely lady, aren't you? I assume you can figure out what's wrong. And we unscrew, and we unscrew, and we unscrew. Whoopsie daisy. Yep, we unscrew. And da da da. Now we unscrew. Then we unscrew. And then we unscrew. We want this all undone. I don't, I don't even know what reflex camera is, lady, so like, you can tell me that all you want, but I ain't listening. You are broken. If I use the screwdriver, I could oh, just this ain't going well. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's meant to point up. Yeah. Uh, hang on. No matter which way I turn, it turns where it wants. Maybe if I go this this way. Hang on. Focusing. Focusing. Thank you. Perfect. Oops. Now the viewfinder should be working. And you stick to the back. Hang on, go, turn it around. Oh, no, stick back on. Turn, turn. And stick, and stick. And put the screws back in. Before the angry lady shouts at me again. Why is she so mad? Oh, okay. Still a few parts missing. Where does film go? Um, help! The camera's twisted. Here we go. And then you go in here. How do I... I don't know how to do this. Help me. Um... Ah, here, okay. I get it, I get it, I got it. No, you go here, okay. Sit there. And then you go there. Cool! Right. Not completely demented then. Oh, gotta put the front of the camera on. Now we screw it back in. Yes. Now she can't shout at me and assume I'm not good at my job. Which you shouldn't do, based on opinions. I've had many jobs that I didn't look like I could work in and I was very good at them. If I do say so myself. Screw, screw, screw. And then you go there. Yes, I know. I'm working on it. See? The screws still need to be put back.
I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me I don't. three How did you eat salary. and, but and live for those three months? I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wonder why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she That's thinks fair. I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I Life hoped Carmen lens. was ready. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, do I get to fit a, um, an L, uh, LED sign? Neon. Neon sign. The sun was setting over Bellariva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, Probably but does. inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Never I heard that pronounced this. like that. If Elena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it! <laughs> Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mouth. Although in Helena's shoes, having your sister like only reach out to you like when she wants money isn't a nice feeling. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but ugh, I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. See, this is I'm quite fun because up, I also actually know how Can to fix these signs. Hang on, wrong place, you don't go. Turn. Oh. Swish, swish, swish. And rotate. And swish, swish, swish. Which I understand is not the noise ordinarily that one of these beasts would make. Beep boop. So we need. Why is this. I'm missing a component. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, turn around, please. Okay, so you're fine. You're the missing component. But move! And then you stick on here. Oh, hang on. We'll get there. I can do this. I'm a strong, independent woman who did work as an LED technician at one point. Okay. Stay. Sit. I'm just try trying to... Stay. Thank you. Do I need to put it in the right position? Is that what this is? Okay, you're gonna make me plug all this stuff in first. Ah, uh, hang on, I, am I being an idiot? Okay, yes, I was being an idiot. To be fair, I'm used to being screwed in. No! Oh. Do, do, do. 
Oh, my TV wobbled. I live in the top floor flat, so like every time it's super windy, like it is right now in England, <coughs> smushed in. Um, my whole flat moves. It works. It works. Yep, I know. I think the whole thing is supposed to light up. No, you. Stay. You. Come with me. Stick in there. There we go. Maybe if it flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. Yes, because you just, ca just casually idea. have circuit boards have in your, part that could do that. on your person at all times. Yeah, I believe that for a minute. Lots of glue, lots of glue, lots of glue. Also, neons are crazy expensive to buy, I mean. Nope. Hang on. Then you'll hook into here so that both correlate with the flash. There. You good now? Hmm. Okay. It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Okay, so you'll let me choose. That's fun. Gonna put some glue in. Right, so you still go there, but then you. And you go to here. gonna put a picture of an ice cream on it. Yep. I think the whole thing now is if I may to turn you around and press the beep boop button. Ta da It beep works. Boop. I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. Man, screw it again. God, if only screws were so easy. The amount of time that I've tried to screw something together and then someone's like blunted the drill bit or like spurred the screw and you just can't do anything with it. Just a piece of metal stuck in the wall and you've got to use a pair of flipping wire cuts to. Anyway, moving on. The sign fixed, we headed outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. You probably didn't think about it well enough it if opening a cafe so was, was simple. Oh, I I there are a lot of steps well. and a lot of legislation and health and safety certificates and stock rotation. A smile froze on her Sister face Dearest. as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this Welcome. entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she it's turned back sign. towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. And with that, she disappeared I think inside. It's cute. I Very hoped traditional. Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. Ooh, is this an intent? Oh, yes! Sort of. That's it. Close enough. Game Boy.
It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. I barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly, it's top secret. It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and this hit crawled through the gap for a and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. Sweetheart. I uh, had didn't. an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn of on I anymore. Can. Thank you for asking. Can right. you fix it for me? So you dropped it, basically. Let's just... Right. The stuff broke. Why does Good it sound so scary? Uh, turn it wasn't around. like that before. Dun, dun. Okay, so your soundboard's broken. A button's broken. Good thing this is also something I have done before. What's that? Oh, it's the screen component. Okay. That's for the top. Hang on. I want this one. I want you to go here. I'm going to connect you up. Then you go here. You go here. You go here. Plug you back in. Put the battery back in. And put that back in. Now I'll deal with the top. Oh, bum. Stay on. And here we go. Okay. This component's broken and this component's broken, so we take that off and replace it. Oh wait, no, this, the motherboard's broken too. Up you come, place you with a new one, put the new bit in, connect one, connect two, that's the wrong wires, okay, you go here, you go here, and back on. Now. Pop and play. Cute. Something still not working? Oh, sorry, got to put a game in. Oh yeah, we do. Do grown-ups play games as well? I'm gonna have less Shut respect for you, kid, play. if this is naturally I so tried hard. Before, but it was so hard. It's like baby Pokemon! Well, I have spent many a year. Battle! Aww. Oh, I could play a game like this. I think there's a mobile game like it. Where you wander around and take pictures of things. Her toy fixed, I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. think you broke it on Please purpose. Don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Why would he think that? Because uh, she rage quit. I kind quit. of dropped it. 
really hard at the wall. Izzy looked down, oh, scuffing her shoes on the stone. worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I have to go to the stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants oh, to see me unless it's for his so job. Give you the I'm best not life going. You can, not that means he's not around when you need him, but either way, he doesn't win. It's life of a parent. With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. It made me think, had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. But it's a child's me, job to leave and go and find their own shores to sit them upon. It's not your job to stay. Hmm, huh, game over. So. I hope you've enjoyed this, I hope it's relaxed you as much as it has me, and I hope you have a very lovely day, but most importantly of all, you do you.